everyone welcome to samayel's youtube channel how are you all i hope that you are all super fine and seriously preparing for your ielts exam well you are dreaming high so you need to work hard without working hard you cannot get anything easily with this note i am going to start today's topic today's topic is all about the expected questions iel speaking part 1 2023 as an iel tutor most of the students ask me ma'am can you give me the expected questions or any prediction sort of thing so i have come up with a top uh, topics that you can actually listen to the questions and prepare answers well these topics are predicted topics so prepare your answers accordingly all right today's topic first topic is all about the home and the accommodation do you live in a house or a flat can you describe the place where you live in uh, how long you have been lived there which part of your home do you like the most see in this type of questions you can easily have to use the adjective can you describe the place where you live in so you can actually use the place with an adjective well i live in a metropolitan city i have been living in the skyscrapers for the past 7 years it was it is a busy road it has been actually buzzing round all the day even in the night time actually you can hear the noises however i really enjoy these noises when i go to my hometown i really miss this noises and i can't sleep well clear so the thing is that i am telling to them everything in the present perfect tense since i am living there from you know 2017 or 2016 so i am telling to the examiner that i am just living here i have been living here clear so the thing is that i am just like taking one thing and explaining with a couple of adjectives these couple of adjectives actually help to describe the place this is how you need to describe a person or to describe a place anything adjective is a very good thing that you have to learn the adjective if you want to learn more about the adjective i have a separate video for the adjectives you go and watch the video completely and learn more all about the adjectives clear perfect so this is one of the expected topics in the ielts right let's move on to the next important topic this topic is all about the subject so either geography or maths or history whatever it may be do you like geography have you ever studied geography at school are you good at reading a map would you visit the country because of its geographical location well in this topic the questions are asked and when you clearly observe the last question the last question would you visit a country because of its geography location so the thing is that they are actually asking you to tell the answer in the future tense so you need to observe the question carefully and if the examiner is asking you the question in the future tense you need to tell the main answer in the future tense would you like to visit a country because of its geographical location in my opinion i would love to visit a country only due to its geographical location basically the beaches because i really enjoy the beaches so some location which is nearer to the beach i would prefer to go there even i have to mention that whatever place i have went so far is really close to the beach and i really prefer the beach since i live in the slab bank of the city clear so the main answer is actually in the future tense so i am referring to the future tense in the main answer also i am referring to the past tense so this is the comparison technique as well as i am actually using the main thing in the future tense so you need to be very very careful in answering the questions like this are you clear perfect let's move on to the next predicted topic of 2023 the next topic is all about birthday what do you usually do on your birthday what did you do your on your birthday when you were young do you think it is important to celebrate your birthday whose birthday do you think is most important to celebrate in your country well this is actually called as the opinion question opinion questions usually come in the part 3 however there are certain exceptions the examiner can ask you some opinion questions in the part 1 itself if you really observe whose birthday do you think is the most important to celebrate in your country 
Well, in my country, I believe that Jawaharlal Nehru's birthday is most important thing that you need to celebrate everybody because it is not only his birthday on his remembrance; it is actually Children's Day. So let's move on to the next other important topic, which is actually called as the social media. Do you think you and your friends are using social media? Do you think your friends use too much of social media? Do you want to work in social media? What is the most popular social media in your country? Why? Again, in this topic, you actually have the opinion question. So when you get the opinion question, you have to use. I reckon. I think. In my opinion, in my perspective, in my humble opinion, you can actually use these phrasal verbs in front of the answers when you want to start the answer. Because these phrasal verbs actually give you a second or two seconds to think over your answer. So you need to be very, very careful, and you need to analyze your answer and then start speaking. Are you clear with this? For example. What is the most popular social media at your country? Well, in my perspective, in my country, the social media differs from person to person. For example, the professionals actually prefer to use LinkedIn for their networking, whereas the teenagers are more fond of the Instagram because they like to scroll down the pictures. They don't need for caption. They don't need any educational content. Instead, they are looking for some entertainment content. So the thing is that it is depends upon from person to person. Clear? So the thing is that I'm just comparing two sectors of people. One people is called as the professional people. The other people is called as the teenagers. The teenagers doesn't look for any content. They are looking for some visuals, whereas the professionals are actually looking for something which is professional content. Clear? Right. Perfect. So this is the thing that you need to use. So you can actually use this comparison technique for comparing two sectors of people that would actually help you to get band seven plus in the first attempt itself. All right, the last topic that I'm going to discuss here for today is that is all about the technology. What technology do you often use? Computers or cell phones? What electronic device you have bought recently? Is there any technology you want to buy? Is technology important in your life? See, is technology important in your life? This is the general question. So you can use the present tense along with the future tense. This would actually help you and give you more marks. Clear? Use all these techniques. Remember those words. Have the vocabulary journal. Prepare your answer. Hire a IELTS mentor that can help you a lot to understand how to answer these kind of questions. Use your answers in the comment section so that I can really help you. Thank you for watching this video till the very end. In Sam IELTS, we are actually helping people to clear the IELTS exam. You have to just work here, concentrate, and practice, and thereby you are going to clear the IELTS exam in the first attempt itself. If you want to learn more about this IELTS exam, visit www.samielts.in or our team WhatsApp number nine zero four three one four zero eight double four. Thank you.